Let's discuss the systemic circulation or the systemic vessels in the body. Going across the face right here, this red vessel is your facial artery. The blue vessel is your facial vein. Right here on the temporal bone, the red is your superficial temporal artery and the blue is your superficial temporal vein. On the occipital bone to the back of the skull, the blue is your occipital vein, the red is your occipital artery. This little dash, this little red dash right there, that is your maxillary artery. Then in the neck area, both of these blue vessels are gonna be your internal jugulars. So you have a left and a right internal jugular. It's gonna split and the internal jugular is gonna go right here. And it's gonna keep going up the back. This is the external jugular. So internal jugular, external jugular. And both of these red vessels right here are your common carotids. You have a left and a right common carotid. So left common carotid, right common carotid. It's gonna go into the internal carotid here and the external carotid right there. So that red vessel right there, that's the external carotid. So internal carotid here, external carotid right there. Then up the back, you're gonna have this vessel go up the back um, near the spine. This is gonna be your vertebral artery. Then right here, you have the superior vena cava. This vessel right here is the aorta. This is your ascending aorta, your aortic arch, and then your descending aorta would be over here. And then this right here is your pulmonary trunk. Realize that you're seeing this picture flipped because um, you're seeing a recording of me pointing out these things. So you might see it look backwards in your picture. Okay, coming off of that. So this is the superior vena cava again, right here. That is your brachiocephalic vein. So superior vena cava here, brachiocephalic vein here, your internal jugulars here, all in blue. Then going right in this area right here, you have your right subclavian artery in red and your right subclavian vein in blue. After this split right here, now this becomes the blue is your axillary vein and the red is your axillary artery. Then the, the vein that comes out right here that we've cut, so you can see that vein is cut, that would be your brachial vein. So that brachial vein is not gonna be going down the arm because we've cut it off right there, okay? Instead, this one that is at the bottom of the arm, this is gonna be your basilic vein. And this one at the top of the arm, this one is gonna be your cephalic vein. So again, subclavian vein, axillary vein, brachial vein, your basilic vein and your cephalic vein. Going back up to here, this red is your subclavian artery. After this split right here, it becomes your axillary artery. Then from down there, this red vessel going down the top of the arm by the humerus, that's gonna be your brachial artery. So subclavian artery in red, axillary artery also in red, brachial artery right here in red. Now in the lower arm, this blue vessel that comes across the elbow, that is your median cubital vein, median cubital vein. This red vessel going right down the middle of the forearm, that is your median antecubital artery. Then this is the thumb side. So on the thumb side, that bone is the radius. And this side is the pinky bone. So this bone is the ulna. That means this red vessel and this blue vessel are gonna be your radial vessels. So this is the red one is your radial artery and the blue one is your radial vein. On the pinky side, this is your ulna. So the blue one is your ulna vein and the red is your ulnar artery. And going down into the hand, this arch right here is your palmar arch. And the blue one is your palmar venous arch. Then going down into the fingers, 
The blue ones are your digital veins and the red ones are your digital arteries. So again, elbow down here. The blue vessel that comes across the elbow is your median cubital vein. This red vessel going down the middle of the forearm is your medial antecubital, I'm sorry, your median antebrachial artery. Thumb side, so this bone is the radius. So the red is your radial artery. Blue is your radial vein. This is the pinky side, so this bone's the ulna. So the blue is the ulnar vein and the red is the ulnar artery. Now going into this abdominal area right here, this big blue vessel is the inferior vena cava. This big red vessel is your abdominal aorta. Coming off the abdominal aorta right here, there's a little bundle. That bundle is your celiac trunk. Then there's a second little nub right here. That little nub is going to your superior mesenteric artery. And the third little nub here with a little red dash coming off of it, that is your inferior mesenteric artery. So this bundle again is your celiac trunk. This nub, superior mesenteric artery. This nub with a little dash coming off of it, that is your inferior mesenteric artery. This right here is your spleen. So the red vessel going into it is a splenic artery. The blue is a splenic vein. This along with all of this is your liver because it goes behind this inferior vena cava. So this is your liver. The red vessels going into your liver are your hepatic artery and the blue is your hepatic vein. These are your kidneys. So the blue vessels going into your kidneys are your renal veins. The red vessels going into the kidneys are your renal arteries. And you have this wishbone area right here. You can see right here, this wishbone splits here and here. So above that split right here and right here are your common iliacs. So the reds are your common iliac arteries. The blues here are your common iliac veins. Then your commons are gonna split you're gonna have a section going further deep into the body. These are your internal iliacs. So the red is your internal iliac artery and the blue is your internal iliac vein. Then this outside here is gonna be your external iliacs. So the reds are your external iliac arteries and the blues are your external iliac veins. So again, this wishbone above this split right here, so above this split is your common iliacs. So common iliac artery in red, common iliac vein in blue. Going deep into the body are gonna be your internal iliacs. So the red is your internal iliac artery and the blue is your internal iliac veins. After the split going towards the outside of the body are your external iliacs. In red, it's your external iliac artery. In blue, external iliac vein. And your external iliacs will lead down into the legs and become your femoral artery and femoral vein. So on this side, this is my femoral vein and you can see my femoral vein is cut off. So on this model, it's not gonna go down into the leg. That's my femoral vein. On this side, my femoral artery has also been cut off. So on this side of the leg, you're not gonna see the femoral artery either. So that would be femoral artery, femoral vein. On this side of our model, the femoral, art, I'm sorry, the femoral vein has been cut. So that's as far as you're gonna see the femoral vein go. This big vessel right here, this is going to be your femoral artery. Beside your femoral artery, you're gonna have your deep femoral artery. Okay. Femoral artery, deep femoral artery. Right here, you're gonna see on this other side, so you saw it over here, over here, you're gonna see the deep femoral vein in blue there and the deep femoral artery right here. Then going around the head, so this big bone here is your femur. So going around the femur right here and here and around the femur on this side, you're gonna have your lateral femoral circumflex vessels. So the red here, you can see it over here, those reds are your lateral femoral circumflex arteries. And the blue is your lateral femoral 
circumflex veins. Okay, now let's go further down the leg. Let me see if I can move this camera. There it goes. Okay, so we said again that the femoral veins have been cut right here. So that's as far as you're gonna see the femoral veins go. This is the femoral artery, okay? This right here is the femoral vein, uh, sorry, deep femoral vein and the deep femoral artery right here. So this femoral artery goes down and then once it gets behind the knee, this artery becomes your popliteal artery. So behind the knee, it's your popliteal artery. Then going down the back of the leg, you can see the toes are pointed this way. So this is the back of the leg, the calf area. This is gonna be your posterior tibial artery. And if this is the posterior, then this is gonna be the anterior tibial artery. So posterior tibial artery, anterior tibial artery. Then going down into the foot, this red vessel on the top of the foot, that's your dorsalis pedis artery. Dorsalis pedis artery. Then in the bottom of the foot here, that red vessel is your plantar arch. Then going back up, remember we have cut off the femoral artery here. So none of these are the femoral arteries. That one is the deep femoral artery, sorry. We've cut the femoral vein off right here. So there's no femoral vein going down this leg. But this one is the deep femoral vein and this is the deep femoral artery in red. This big vessel going down the back of the leg, that is your great saphenous vein, all the way down the back of the leg. This blue one down here, that is your small saphenous vein. Then you have this vessel right here. This vessel right here is your fibular artery, fibular artery. Then down here in the foot, that blue arch in the foot, that blue arch is your dorsal venous arch in the bottom of the foot there, dorsal venous arch. 